Mine are down. I'm one of those that likes to, to get them down as soon as the holiday's over. How about you? Yes. Christmas decorations, all you take them down immediately. Down. Yeah, we yeah. did it the, most of them the day after Christmas. Yeah, I'm the same way. Fresh start, new year, it's kind of how I roll. But yeah. when you're thinking about being outside, whether you're bringing in your decorations or just thinking about your yard, your lawn, let's talk about this cold weather. Uh, some people may not like it, but it's actually beneficial. It is beneficial. Um, we, had, we had things breaking dormancy like it was spring. Uh, back around Christmas uh -huh. because the weather had been so warm for so long. Um, but this is beneficial. We need to keep things in a cold dormant setting for as long as possible. And uh, we need this cold weather. It's good for everything. It's good for the soil. It's good for the soil to freeze on top, breaks up compaction. It really helps from those standpoints. Yeah. Now this is a time uh, with those cold temperatures coming in when you start to notice cracks maybe <laughs> in your doorway and your windows. What are some things that we can do to help prepare our homes and, and the outdoors, I guess, surrounding our home for, well, for winter? Certainly anytime you want to check for that kind of stuff. But as we go into these colder periods, uh, just a tube of caulk can do wonders around the house. And uh, pay attention to where you see those and try to get them done in the late summer, early fall, and that'll keep a lot of those insects from trying to come in. And also this time of year, if you've had a lot of problems with weeds in your flower beds mm -hmm. in the past, this is the time of year to go out and do some control. Um, go out, uh, take a rake, rake them, get those little small weeds that are about an inch high right mm -hmm. now that are going to turn into a six foot to an eight inch weed, <laughs> a mat of weeds later in the winter and the spring. This is the time to go out and control them or use a chemical, use something to get out there and stir that up and kill those seedlings while they're young. Okay. And a couple or three years of doing that will help you diminish a lot of your weed problems around the house. All right, Neil Denton with some tips for us during this cold weather. Thanks for coming on. Good to be here. Good to see you.